Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakrabaden, Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an ebook on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra began a life-transforming message titled How to Resolve Marital Conflict based on the teaching of Jesus in Matthew 18 verses 15 to 18. Yesterday, he shared the first step in the mediation process. Today, he shares the second step if the first fails. Let's join in. Jesus said, try mediation. Don't keep quiet. Say it. He said, if it doesn't work, take with you one or two more. In other words, sometimes we can't see eye to eye. So he says, okay, then get one or two more people. So up to this point, everybody is a Christian. So when a Christian has a problem and wants to resolve it, he or she invites other Christian. Your best friend Constance may be the one you tell your problems to, but the question is, is she born again? Because if you have people who don't know the Lord, they will give you worldly wisdom. There is a wisdom that's demonic. In James 3, 14, the Bible says, if you have bitter envy and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above. It's earthly. When you look at it, it feels as if it's natural or normal. Sensual, it's most of the time it springs for the emotions. Then it says, demonic. Demonic. A lot of emotional decisions are actually demonic decisions. It says, if you have bitter envy and strife in your heart, glory not. All these are emotions. So when you have people who don't know the word of God and you bring them into the conversation, they may come in with emotional decisions. So you don't understand, we are all women. Listen, whether men or women, we all follow God's word. We don't follow our emotions. Don't tell me that woman's story. We are talking about God's word. There is no accommodation for women's feelings in God's word. Stand up. Stand up. It was an emotional decision that made Adam and Eve eat of that, the, knowledge, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It was purely emotional. Genesis 3 says, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, a tree to be desired, that's feelings, to make one wise. She took all the fruit thereof and did eat it. It was an emotional decision. It caused many problems. So it says, take with you one or two more. And these people, they must come with spiritual counsel. Not just anybody. And that counsel must come from God's word. So our wisdom is coming, number one, from God's word, and number two, the Holy Spirit. So these two or three, they are not just regular people. The fact that somebody is your friend, that's not me he qualifies to advise you. When I am sick, I don't consult my friends. 
I consult a doctor. My car is sport, and I call my best friend, who is a lawyer. I say, my car is sport. You are my best friend. Come and repair it. It doesn't work that way. We consult the right people. He said, by the word of two or three witnesses, every matter shall be established. And it's important because, you know, sometimes in an argument, you yourself, you are so emotionally involved in the argument that your viewpoint is skewed. So you need somebody who is objective, somebody who is not involved to sit in and to judge and to help you. You need a neutral person. And let me tell you something. Anytime you invite somebody to advise you, if you're not going to listen to it, don't invite the person. You are wasting his time, you are wasting your time. Make sure that there are people that you are prepared to listen to their instruction. Don't waste their time. So Jesus said, that's the second level of mediation. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that when dialogue fails, the next step is to get two or three other Christians to help resolve the conflict based on godly and not earthly or carnal wisdom. Join us again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. My brother-in-law now has a job. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you concerning my brother-in-law who had been unemployed for some time and was facing serious financial hardships. After your prayer, to the glory of God, a great contract was handed over to him from a secondary school. Thank you and God bless you. The message you just heard is available on the Kakra Baden Air Power app. Download the Kakra Baden Air Power app on Google Play Store or the App Store. You can contact us, seek counselling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.